Neville the Q1 Tender Engine is essentially a box, that means his merchandise is, well, boxy. While other rangers did release him as boxy and bland as possible, Trackmaster gave him their best shot. Did they succeed? Let's find out. I'm also joined by Tom Tank Productions. So, without further ado, let's take a look at his first few releases. He was first released in September of 2006 by Playware with a red van. In 2006, the same year, Motor Road and Rail released their Neville, also with a red van. Also in 2006, we got another Motor Road and Rail release, this time only in the US. It was called Neville with Track, and featured, well, Neville, with four curved pieces of track. Now, over to Tons to look at his hit releases. Hit Toys first released Neville in 2007 as a Big Friends release with two half straight track pieces. He was released in blister packaging and of course the Window 1 too, then in the same year as a Toys R Us exclusive with the infamous Red Van. In 2008, the European release came out, of course as Trackmaster Tommy. This one had, shocker, Neville with a Red Van. Over to Tom to talk about what happened next. Now, Fisher Price gave us a Neville release too. This was in 2010 as a Big Friends release, and there weren't really a lot of differences, and that about sums it up for his releases, I suppose. And with that, I hope you enjoyed my segments. Subscribe to my channel, link in the description, and over to Tons to discuss his design. We already discussed that Neville was a literal box, however there is something else that was kind of unique to him, this being his wheels. In the show he had bullied disc wheels, which have holes and teardrop shaped indentations. He however was not the only engine to have this wheel design, as Dennis also had them. Overall, a very nice model, cool shape, nice wheels, and of course, red van. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you soon. Thank you.